Hey everybody, before we get into the video, I want you guys to know I do have a big announcement at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for the entirety of the video. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on everybody? I want to welcome you back to another video here on the channel, and today we are taking a look at another LEGO Star Wars set that hit the market a few weeks ago. This is Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. It's a set number 75168. Recommended for ages 8 to 12 and comes at 262 pieces. Now, one of the first things you guys notice when you take a look at the set, it looks like it's small, and believe me, it is really, really small. Um, I got it for, I think, $19.99 or something. Wouldn't pay any penny more, um, but it is a fun build. It was a fun set, and let's just take a look. Getting a look here, there's some awesome functionalities to it. Um, the wings on each side can fold down just like that, so it looks like you're flying. And then when you want to land, I can only guess what you want to do. You can fold it back up just like that and uh, it has the ability to stand on its own. And as we take a look at the back of Yoda's Starfighter here, we can see the engine, the little blue tiles right there. It looks pretty cool, actually, probably my favorite part of the set. Obviously, those are stickers. Um, they look a little crooked, sorry about that. And it's got some um, spring-loaded shooters in the bottom, and obviously R2-D2 can go up and out, just like in the actual movie. Last awesome part about this is a cockpit. Uh, if you want to take out your figure, all you have to do is pull down on this, and then actually the top comes off too, and uh, that just makes it easier for the main figure to get in and out of the set. Moving on to the minifigures included in the set, we have R2-D2 with a silver top, um, and of course we have Yoda and his lightsaber. Nothing really much to say about these two figures, um, we've all seen them before. Um, I do like them though, don't get me wrong, Yoda's printing on the front looks pretty good. So does R2-D2, um, I've had them before, I mean, it, they look exactly the same, um, but I mean, I really, do, I honestly don't know what to say about these minifigures, I mean, you guys can kind of tell what's what's what with those and as here we wrap up the video I went over everything and explained everything the best that i could the set is small so there's not really a lot to say and that's why this review is kind of like right around the two minute mark two mini figures r2 g2 yoda pretty cool starfighter if you got a kid or if you're looking to play with a lego set i definitely recommend this it's got the stud shooters it's got i'm not the stud shooters it's got the spring loaded things um cool set cool build easy build too i think it only took like 20 25 minutes I would not pay anything over $20 for this, but it's still a good set, fun set to build. Alright guys, from the beginning of the video, I said that I had an announcement to make, and that is that I'm recreating a LEGO Scarif mock. Um, basically, I really liked Rogue One, and I feel like Scarif is an awesome mock to build. Now, I know that there are, are a lot of Scarif mocks out there, but I want to emphasize that this is going to be unique. It's uh, about, I think it's about 3 feet by 4 feet, so it's definitely going to be big, it's definitely going to have a lot of detail. It's got a whole bunch of islands and vegetation, it's got a walker, it's got all that good stuff. And in fact, the next video you guys are going to see is going to be a Lego haul of all the minifigures that are going to be used in the mock. Now, fortunately, I am actually kind of almost done with it already. I started it well before I started making YouTube videos, and I pretty much have all the environment laid out already. So, like I said before, the next video is going to be about all the minifigures and the sets that I'm going to be using in the mock itself. And the next video will either be another review or it will be a slideshow montage of the mock itself. And then the following video is going to be me kind of taking you guys in depth into the actual mock. So if you guys want to see that mock, definitely hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're looking forward to it. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you think I did a pretty good job reviewing the set, definitely hit a like and definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more reviews. If you guys want to buy this set, I do have my Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. If you use that, um, it helps me out and helps you out. Amazon usually is pretty good with their prices. Hope you guys had an awesome time watching today's video. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Keep on smiling. I'll catch up with you all later. Till then, be good.